Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunpla TV. We are on episode number 305, and this week I am joined once again by my lovely co-host, David. David, yes. welcome back. It's been a little while since pleasure. you've been on the show, Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. I think you it was were, well, episode 300, 300 yeah. Right, so it's been five episodes. Yeah. We have like a rotating, revolving Yeah, group of basically <laughs> when Lindsay's busy or something. When Lindsay's yeah. busy, yep, everybody else rotates. I'm always here because... You're, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't do anything, but Bill Gundam all day. Yeah, exactly. Like I wish. Yeah, Wouldn't that be fun. And <sighs> play with lightsabers, right? Yeah, that too. But what have we got this week? <laughs> all got right, a lot. so we got new stuff that came in this week. Although you will notice that this is actually not really a whole lot of Gundam. Although this is no. Gunpla TV, but everything here is made by Bandai. Now, two mm. of the kits that came out are. We got some more Dragon Ball kits in the Figurized series. What's kind of cool about these new Dragon Ball kits is it says muscle build-up system. Yeah, so you can make them big. And you can make them muscular. big out there, big old pecs and whatnot. So that's kind of interesting. This one's got it too as well, of course. Right. One thing I'm kind of, being is that I always mostly build Gundam, it looks like the hand parts on these use like the same standard like... Gundam peg system, so it'd be kind of fun maybe just to take the put hands, Gundam. <laughs> put Gundam just take in. the hands from these kits and put it on a Gundam. It yeah. looks like somebody With cosplaying a as a Gundam or something. Or yeah. something. that will be cool. So these giant things just came in. I think Lindsay was telling me I think that there's some new Dragon Ball movie that's about to be released, and that's oh, okay. why yeah, maybe that's these are out. out. So that got, would make sense. I don't know if it says anything here, but no, it doesn't. Right. But maybe yeah. Uh, the Brawly Super Saiyan Brawly Full Power. That is a thick box. That is a thick, thick box. So this guy is thick. <laughs> All right. So also from speaking of movie stuff, we've got over here. Let's start over here. All right. We've got the Gypsy Avenger comes back in a new version. What's new about this kit? Back I think back. it's been two years since the originals came out now, actually. No, but no, no. Like a little bit less, but I remember us doing them uh, with the lights and stuff, wasn't it? We, you, you could put an LED inside right, right? Yeah, right, right. Cool. it must have been like right at the end of 2017 because I think the runner said 2017 yeah. but yeah we got a new he's got a new backpack now and it looks kind of like a like a little mini spaceship because these things are really like gigantic in the movies but his backpack looks like a little spaceship I think that will be uh, to his back. popular because a lot of people like the original um, and right? even though it's the same thing a lot of people didn't didn't get to get it no they didn't and this these ones really sold well when mm, they first they came out I remember so maybe now's your chance to maybe pick it up maybe now is the chance indeed and we this got a new talking. Iron Man it's cool yeah it's Iron Man right? Iron Man That's my. that was the joke that I kept making when I reviewed this originally yeah well not this one specifically. This is the new Ultraman suit version 7.5. So this was really cool. I really enjoyed the Ultraman that yeah, I built. Yeah, with the LED. With the LED unit. Even though does we didn't get to show that. Yeah, it does. Unit? Just for the eyes, Okay, an LED unit is included to recreate the growing effect. So yeah, that's that's cool. Oh yeah, this... Just don't forget to leave it on this time. Oh, this one has the... Oh yeah, I, I killed the battery on my other one because I left it on all night. Nope. This one, I guess, is only the eye. The last one had the chest. The chest as we well. It looked a bit cooler. Oh, it was 100% okay. Iron Man, but right. this one's only a bit Iron Man esque. Right. It's it's colors like are the same though. Right. 75% Iron Man. Yeah. Esque. <laughs> colors That's are cool. cool. He is cool. And we do have one actually Gundam thing that did come in yeah, today. Yeah, the Zero Maru. The Zero Maru. So I believe I did one of these a little last year. So this is an SD kit with built based on that um, what are they, cro the cross silhouette cross frame, silhouette. and it comes included with a cross silhouette frame, which is green this time. So I think oh, it's new. probably the only chance that you would ever have to get a green cross silhouette frame. But it also has like the other one I reviewed before. This one has the ability to change into like a HG size form mm. as well as the SD form. So that's really cool. I always like the I wonder if HG size form kits. The uh, band I place in Odaiba has. Uh, Different colors. Oh, mm. just green and uh, black, and what's the other one? They have white, they have gray, and uh, they gray. have green. But I think there was a red one too for some kit. I think that actually, I think the previous version of this that I built came with the red frame included. Mm. That's what I think I'm remembering. So if I build that kit, I'll bring in the old one too, so we can compare them. But speaking two. of stuff that I have built, Dave. There's two of them. I have two You've this week. You've been very week. busy this week. I've been busy, although not busy enough because, sorry, there is still no finished perfect grade. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll How get to that? that. All right. So. That sounds very 
Look like it could be pronounced very dirty. <laughs> gun easy. <laughs> the gun easy. Oh, I this is like the one gun easy. <laughs> so we got, today I went ahead and I built the RE100 gun EG. And then I also have another HG kit. Oh, this is an HG kit. It looks yeah, like an HG kit. Gundam. It builds like an HG kit. I have the base Gundam. Base. Base. That looks a lot like the colorful one that. Maybe. Yeah. Right? It's, it's really fluorescent-y. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Do you want to yeah. take a closer look? Yeah. What let's do you go. say? Alrighty, first up, let's take a look at the brand new RE100 Gun EZ. And did I, I think I complete, this is from Victory Gundam, that's what it is. All right, so from Victory Gundam, we got the Gun EZ. So apparently this mobile suit wasn't popular enough to warrant a master grade, master grade release. Uh. So they have shoveled it off to the RE100 line, which is kind of like HG kits for 1100 Babies. scale, basically. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, actually, I have to tell you though, this kit was, it was, it, it went together, it built really quickly, and I have to say, it's actually a pretty solid kit. You know, yeah, I like it when they're sturdy. I, I, I like it when they're nice and stiff, and this kit is nice and stiff. It came with the usual polycap system that the all, all the other RE100 kits come with, but actually, you end up with a lot of leftover polycaps, because it doesn't actually use a whole lot of those polycaps. You got a few here and there in the arms, a few here and there in the legs and the waist, but... Not a whole lot to it, actually. It's pretty It's pretty good. Now, let's compare the size of this, because Victory Gundam kits, they tend to be quite small. So let's bring in the other guy that I had built, the HG kit. So as you can tell, that, yeah, even though this is a 1-100 scale, compared to a 1-144 scale kit, it's actually not a whole lot bigger, is it? No, not really. So that's kind of, it. that's always kind of interesting. Of course, I really love the big kits, but hey, this is a cute kind of little fun thing to build all right let's take a look at the cool stuff that we get with this kit so you get a whole bunch of different color mostly it's just green and the blue color separation although you get some gray parts in there i gotta say i really enjoy like the colors of this guy he's it's it's really i don't know i, I just i like yeah, that I kind know. of I more well. it's not like not crazy enough, like no. hello i'm i just like burst out of your highlighter marker bag yeah. type thing but more actually like mil military goes together doesn't it, it looks Oh, I just knocked the camera. All right. Looks good. On top of like the uh, little silver bits there. I guess that's Yes. Good. All right. So silver bits, David just mentioned that. You can kind of see the light reflecting off of there. Those are actually stickers. So on this kit, there are a few, just a few stickers that you are going to be applying. Let me show like what was left over from the stickers. So as far as the stickers go, you had the eyes I there and they, yeah. they give it that really nice glow. And then you got like these vents on the side of his head there. And then you also have black stickers on the inside of this arm there. And what else was there? Oh, there was one tiny little, oh, yeah. tiny little green thing on the back of the head. That's pretty standard. But these aren't stickers. Standard fare. Even though they look like oh, they might be. Oh, no, that's right. These guys are not stickers. So what they did here is they have these green pieces, but they have holes on the inside. And on the underside of here, you've got like the, the gray plastic. But because they've got the holes, you can see that gray plastic shine through. And it gives it that nice little extra color. Yeah. Cool. colored variation and same with the legs here you got like the and also on the this part here these aren't stickers either on the what would you call that i forget vents? i don't know well the vents but like the the pelvic guards or the the oh. waist waist guards i think waist guard would maybe be correct i just like i'm forgetting my terminology cricket, cricket box or something the cricket you know, box you know when they have to put it over a special area oh <laughs> cruel cricket oh gosh that's very british british yes. english we don't play cricket in america we have baseball and we, yeah, we have the, the cup, the cup that you <laughs> that, wear. I, yeah. I remember wearing those darn cups. That was not comfortable. No. <laughs> All right, but let's, let's look into one cool feature that comes with this kit. So on the top here, we've got these little kind of weapon holders that he just holds or he just has chilling up on the top. Oh, and they cool. have doors that open up and inside and you can actually, uh, let me see if I can get this to... Show on the camera here. There we go. Oh, ah! Like as soon as I grab out. it, it falls back in. So yes, this this is where he keeps his beam saber handle. Oh, so okay. it just pops right out. Let me grab a beam saber here for you guys. And you can you can take. It comes with two beam sabers, and then if you ever want to equip the beam saber, you can just kind of equip it on there, and ta da! You've got a beam saber. Now, I'm forgetting, was this for this weapon? Yes. Also, it comes with this really cool effect part that also That's plugs cool. into the beam saber handle. So if you want to show him posing off with this kind of effect, then hey, 
you've got this option as well. Now you might be wondering, well gosh, if that door opens up, does the one on the other side open up and have a beam saber handle as well? And the answer to that is going to be a resounding no. No, what's in there? So on the inside of the other side, we've got two little tiny missiles. And no these actually no can be removed nice. as well. So maybe you can pose them like launching halfway out if you want or you can or just you can put like a wire on it and make it look or you can put or a wire on it but gosh these things are so, so <laughs> tiny that i probably after this video i will never remove them again <laughs> because i know for certain i am going to lose those little boogers all right Wait, so let me put this you weren't thing joking about here. the poly cows no the, there's literally the, like none of them are used Right, is you're just using kind of just a fraction of the polycaps. Yeah. I mean, if you like collecting the spare parts, like if you ever lose them or if you want to do some scratch building, this is good because you get yeah. some extra, extra. if you like those RE100 style polycaps, at least anyway, you get some extras to play with. All right, so let's take a look at how about let's go on to some, like how does he move, how kind of, what kind of function, or what not functionality, but uh, posability and whatnot. All right, so for the leg, he has... Okay, so this the leg on this kit has, and I like these. I like these joints. We see them in Origin kits as well. Maybe it's easier just to pop off his leg to show this off. So you've got that kind of swivel oh, hip does, joint yeah, to yeah. it. So it gives it a little bit extra leg movement as far as that goes. You can see that in there. Nice. And let's plug his leg back on. So of course he's got those flaps that move all over the place. So he's going <laughs> to have, as far as his legs go, That's he's going to have some pretty <laughs> good range of movement for these legs and of course the knee is also going to be double jointed there so quite mm. quite the possibility as far as that goes whoops Ooh. there goes one of the as i am usually want to do is knock something off it wouldn't be it wouldn't, wouldn't be, be a wouldn't review be from me if, TV if, if i don't knock off at least <laughs> one part right all right so the leg has some side to side movement and it does have a little bit of um up and down that it can do so not too bad pretty good i have to say and of course this has a little, little shin guard can move around there and whatnot and the arms the arms the only thing i kind of don't i'm not a big fan of is how the shoulder connects onto the arm because i'm usually kind of knock that off and then it flops mm. around a little bit so it's it has this like little uh what do you what, what do i want to say this little plate on here and then it just kind of like tabs over a little notch onto the the joint here and that's what keeps the shoulder part on but other than that the arm is pretty standard fare you've got your usual kind of double jointed elbows as far as that goes and he has a shoulder joint that can kind of pop out a bit to give him some more movement mm. as far as reaching forward you can kind of see what i'm talking about yeah, as far yeah, as this thing out. goes because mm. this, this got knocked off here and now it's kind of just loosely flopping around here but then I have to try and take it and squeeze oh, it back it on. on. Okay. I gotta push it back on. Maybe I try and squeeze this arm in a bit more so hold, so it can hold it on, but it doesn't seem to go all the way in. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Oh, hey, there's one more part. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and leave those off for now. And let's take a look at the weapons that come included with this guy. So we have, and this is actually from, this is actually from the master grade victory gundam kit i think because the runners said like 2014 so this is like the oldest wow. runner the oldest part that was in the box was just this gun this gun there's not a whole lot to it really so you get yay you get a, a gun this one i like this weapon a whole lot more and where is my manual because i forget the name of this thing what in the world were they calling the beam bazooka okay that's pretty standard fare as yeah. far as names go we got a nice cool looking beam bazooka and there's where one of the cool. stickers goes on there but two different colors and was that it a sticker looks well awesome on this one? there was no sticker no, this is actually a clear part. green cool. part so you there was another clear green part but once you put the eye sticker over it you can no longer see that green, no, okay. the other gr clear green part and let's see what else am i forgetting oh there's one more thing that i am forgetting here actually two things let's take a look at that if you do not want to display these little weapon things on the shoulder, they actually do pop off mm. and they give you these little flat, like blanking plates. Yeah. So you can. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But. Right. I'm not sure who would want to display, but maybe somebody out there, they want to build like an army with like a million different versions. Yeah. So 
that's at least one cool option that they do provide with this kit. And, whoopsie daisy. And they have also, they came with these stickers, but they also have some nice marking stickers on there if you want to go crazy with the stickers. So, I think that's kind of, a, oh no, you know, I'm, I gotta say I'm forgetting one more thing. So, you've probably noticed this thing sitting here on his arm. Uh, and yes. that is to hold on this, da -da -da. Da -da -da, his little beam shield. Shiny. So, Oh, it's it's really, really shiny. shines well in the camera there. Right? Isn't that kind of cool? So yeah, you can you can open this up and then just snap that on. He'll be able to hold on to his beam shield. Cool. So that's another cool feature. All right, so let's take a look at the base Gundam next. And next up we have here the HD base Gundam. So this is from Gundam Build Divers, which I have to admit I still have not watched. <laughs> no, it's on my it's on my list of things to do. It just seems like oh I've got so much stuff to do these days that <gasps> I don't know where it ends. But yeah, so last week we took a look at this with Lindsay and I, and we were really marveling at yes. the colors. And I have to I like one, it. it is kind of, it's unique, isn't this it? This is this isn't Todd style though. I don't think it's a bit bright for me. I have to say. I think this is the type of thing I'd have on my desk. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I mean, really, it looks like the same colors you would find in like a highlighter. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Looks like but... you could eat it or something. Like that. <laughs> oh, it might be delicious here. You guys want to eat it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a new take on the on the standard affair RX seventy eight dash two. This is like an RX seventy eight dash two for a new generation or just more modernized looking one. And speaking of the RX 78-2, as I keep making the poor camera having to work to focus <laughs> again and again, I went ahead and dug out my Revive version HD RX 78-2. And when was that from? The, the Revive, gosh, it's been a couple of years now that this came out. Like 2015, has it been already? It doesn't seem so long ago, but... I'm impressed that you remembered to take it off your uh, your shelf and bring it in. Right. Well, actually, this guy <laughs> That's the type has, of thing I'd always forget. This guy has been sitting at like the front of my shelf for a while, so I always kind of notice and see him. Let's let's bring them side to side so you can really get a good comparison on how, just how these two kits differ besides the color. I think it would be interesting to take this kit and then paint it with the standard red, blue, and yellow just to see how that would look instead of these. Fluorescent colors. Maybe this someday. It's definitely more like retro classic style, like just the red right? and the yellow together. Yeah. And even the Revive, like you can tell this one is really like white plastic, mm. but the Revive Gundam has kind of a more... Recycled plastic. Recycled <laughs> plastic, a more older style... White. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even know. It's like, it kind of looks like it has a bit of a green Green, yeah, tint green grayish it. type of... Uh, yeah, that is, it. that is quite interesting. But anyway... This is not a review of the Revive Gundam. This is a great kit. If you guys have never built this and you really... Actually, I always is recommend... This is like one of... I don't know if it's backward, actually, to be on. I think this is something they should have. Like, stop. They should always, mm -hmm. like... This should this kit should, like, never go out of production. Because I think it's cheap. And then this is, like... If you have somebody that, like, is, wants an introduction to Gundam and you have to recommend, like, their first Gundam kit they should ever yeah. build, this like is, like, one of, <laughs> one of the ones that, like, I always would recommend. Because it has like a new molding to it and it's, it goes together really well and it looks great once it's built. So I always recommend the Revive Gundam is like a first kit that people should build. But back, back, I'm, I'm quite digressing. Back to the base. So gosh, I'm not sure what exactly I can say about this guy. It's pretty standard fare. Let's go look, let's take a look into his range of movements and let's see if I keep making this poor camera want to have a hard time focusing here. So you got the standard double jointed elbow. His wrist has some nice movement to it. And the shoulder. Oh, there is one really cool thing about this kit that I remember now that I'm playing with it here. The shoulder, the way the shoulder or the chest, I mean, the way the chest builds together is like these two. I'll just pop off the shield. The the chest like can the entire oh, chest yeah. can like expand nice. out to give it a bit more extra extra movement there. That's yeah, kind of that's cool. Nice. You know, I don't remember. Is I think it? I've seen them do something similar to this in another kit, but not like quite to the extent that this kit like mm. splits the chest apart. That was quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. And let's take a look at the leg. Standard, standard fare as well. Double jointed knee. And of course, he's going to be able to go crazy with his crotches. 
that can expand in and out. The leg or the foot, we've got some standard ball joint on the bottom there. Actually, it's got kind of two, two different joints yeah. there on the bottom. So quite, like quite, a, quite a range it's of good. movement that he can do with the foot. So that is well, quite looks cool. Like he's dislocated. Everything. Right, poor guy. I know, I know all about breaking legs. Oh, God. <laughs> right, this poor camera. It's like, help, stop moving so much. I just want to focus in one area. All right, so let's take a, oh no. That's, hey, that's like a tradition now too. He just always knocks over. Let's take a look at the weapons and stuff that comes with this guy. So you get a shield and there, shield. there's the focus again. You get a standard, pretty standard shield. It's only like two pieces that were sandwiched together. Mm. But you also get- Hell of a lot of weapons. <laughs> you get four guns, four different guns. All not, and they're not all different. So these two are the same. So you get two different kind of like beam rifles or two beam rifles here. And then you also have this other kind of looks like a single hand shot, thing. half shotgun, half, half right, a sawed off shotgun type thing. <laughs> so this also has the ability to oh, right. pop yeah. that part off. So then you really have you like your twice. sawed off shotgun <laughs> looking thing with two barrels. So that's cool. You get two different options as far as that gun goes. You, of course, you get your standard beam sabers which are going to work with the handles that plug yep. into his backpack here now one cool thing cool feature about the backpack that they also mention in the manual is it has the standard connection holes whoops i just broke off his waist ah there goes something so you have the standard connection for the backpack here in the back like but also the standard one. connection is on the backpack itself as well and they show, I don't know if that was on the, oh, the cool. box or here we go. So yeah. they show it in the manual. You can actually like take these accessory sets like these, the wings, the build, the build divers parts wings. And then you can Sky plug this wings. into the backpack. So you don't have to remove the backpack in order to plug in the wings. Nice. So that is a cool little nifty new feature for this and kit as well. And separately as just one piece. Those wings? Yeah, they're not. Are they, or are they part of a different kit? No, the wings are sold separately. Oh, That's cool. part of the the option set thing that they sell. So I don't think I ever reviewed those, but that's an option. All right, so not a whole lot to look at with this guy, really. Quite cool. He builds. He builds nicely, and it looks great when it's finished. So that's it for the base Gundam. Back to base. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. I missed out on that joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This, how could I have forgotten all about that? You're joke? genuinely upset. It's funny. Man, because like literally all their bases are belonging to us. So that's it for the Gun Easy and Gundam Base. Base. All right, so I think we have some comments. Actually, this week we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to read the comments. And, you and I'm going to give away How money. About that? All right, so the first comment is from Hell of a. Hell of a guy. This must be a hell of a comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Hell of a says, Hello, GBN Base Gundam. Looks cool with those fluo colors. Yes. Sid Andrewstein MG looks great too. I wonder if there will be some sort of sales for the 40 years of Gundam. Maybe. Ooh, so yes, this is 2019. This is the 40th anniversary of when the original Gundam series aired in 1979. They're gonna bring something out. They have to bring something out, you, you would imagine. But, 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 there's one maybe caveat that makes me kind of wonder, are they gonna do it this year or are they gonna do it next year? Because the first Gundam kit that was ever released was actually not released until 1980. Ah, okay. So it's a year after, and so maybe so they'll... So next year would be the 40th anniversary of Gunpla, 
Mm. And this year is the 40th anniversary of the Gundam anime. So uh, there's maybe a they'll one do year something, difference. something from the anime this year, like a right. character from the anime this year, and then next year they'll do like some massive, just crazy thing. They must. I, I hope that. I really hope that they're planning something crazy for next year. 40 years, yeah. Gunpla, uh, uh, giant 135th scale Gundam. <laughs> that would be awesome. One Cost scale. like Goman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can dream. All right. So oh. the next comment, speaking of new kits, is from Zloty Pistrik, I think. I don't know how's has is it Polish or oh, no idea. Russian? Mm, Polish, I would imagine, maybe. But they say, when will the next hobby? Sh when will be the next hobby show in Japan? All right, and well, I actually I answered this that. in the comments, but I just wanted to mention this out there for all the other viewers that maybe don't go through and read the comments. That the next hobby show is going to be Shizuoka in May. And this, by the time you watch this, it's already going to be the very last week of January, almost February. So we got February, March, April. And it's, Shizuoka show is always early at the beginning yeah. of May. So only time about will fly. three more months left until the Shizuoka hobby show. Then we have to drive down there. We have to drive. We have to take the train. Or Dave's going to ride his bike. <laughs> No. <laughs> That's only you, maybe we got like down there really fast an last eight time. hour bike ride, maybe. Yeah. Gosh, that would be interesting. We got a shink back last time. That was yeah. Awesome. It's always fun to take the Shinkansen. Yeah. Bullet train as it is known overseas. Especially on company expenses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> okay, now. speaking of company expenses, oh, it's yeah. time for a giveaway. What do you say? And what I do think we give away every week? Would you be a think good idea. Oh, so I get I'm to gonna... be like the the model, the poster girl that holds the sign this week. Two thousand yen, hobby link, store credit. Okay. All right. So who does it go to this week? It's comment number twenty nine. That's, that, that's all we need to say. All right. Actually, yeah. I think last week was twenty eight. So that's cool. <laughs> the random um, number generator just likes to go in sequence, apparently. But obviously, you can't tell which is no. comment twenty nine. So it is Artie. Artie. And he says the stand to keep the extra hands and whatnot. That's a fantastic addition and very useful. Mm. I guess he's talking about the Haro. The Haro! Those Haro kits on the, the little puzzle stand pieces, it's like the same puzzle thing as little Poochie Bear guys. Yeah. But for the Haro ones, underneath it has these little slots. So like when you want to display them with, his, with like the flaps just, closed and the legs closed, you just pop off those arms, you pop off the legs, and you can store them underneath yeah, that stand so you don't lose them. All my like figures, uh, all the parts, the hands, and all right. that stuff is in my drawer uh, in the <sighs> desk. Because so they don't have, them. they don't come with that little cool thing no. to hold it all together. That's that reminds yeah, me of cool. when I was young and I had like a huge collection of Ninja Turtle figures <laughs> and like Raphael would have like his little shurikens or whatever, and I'd always you probably lose lost those all of them. <laughs> ah, poor Leonardo without the katana. Ah, oh, I digress. All right, <laughs> but yeah. So how can they? How can people on this episode win? 2,000 yen. That's right. If you guys out there would also like to win 2,000 yen Hobby Link Japan store credit, all you need to do is go to hobbylink.tv, find episode number 305, right, and, and post comment a comment. Below. Please be sure to be registered on yes. hobbylink.tv. So also, that way I'll be able to actually send you an email. Like, subscribe, yes. and hit the bell. And hit the bell. It always helps. Ring my bell. <laughs> I've just realized Ring that box down there. Oh, it's Star Wars. It is indeed. That was probably from Sid. Hi, Sid, if you're watching. Yo. All right. On that note, I think it is about time to wrap up this episode. So yeah. if you guys want, you can find us on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. I almost said Facegram. Yeah, I mean, Facegram. Lindsay's normally <laughs> the person who says that, isn't She's she? She's usually the one that runs down the whole list. But pretty much any social media site that matters, you'll be able to find us. And thank you, everybody out there, for watching us. Please stay tuned for more Gunpla action coming up soon next week. Yes. So, everybody, take care and have a great week. See ya.